Jeffy, it's time to go to school. All right, Danny, just as soon as I get done eating my breakfast. Jeffy, you're not going to eat blue rock candy for breakfast. Well, I'm 18, so I'm going to do it anyway. What, Jeffy, you're 18 in the third grade. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. It's not my fault my hopes are up and my syndrome is down. Marvin, look, the news. Stop it. That's my thing. Marvin, look, the news. Breaking news, okay? Blue rock candy is now illegal. Scientists have found that it causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Blue rock candy is illegal? Well, Jeffy, don't eat that. It's super illegal and it's dangerous. But no one knows that I have it. I'll just be taking this. What? The cops? Yeah, we're going around confiscating everybody's blue rock candy because this is super illegal now. And also, the street value of this is insane. You can get thousands of dollars just for this. Huh, you guys should have sold it before I got here. Well, what am I going to eat for breakfast now? <sighs> Jeffy, just eat your cat food. <laughs> Marvin, don't give Jeffy cat food again. It's okay, Mommy. I like shrimp and biscuits. See, baby, he likes it. Yeah, eat it up, Jeffy. <laughs> <sighs> Who's that? Hello? Good morning, Marvin. Lovely day, isn't it? Uh, yeah? I'm sure you're wondering why I'm here. Uh, I don't have my house payment this month. Oh, I know, but it's not my problem anymore because I sold your mortgage to the Mexican cartel. ASA! Wait, you sold my mortgage?! I sure did. And the bad news is, is sometimes I would let you miss house payments without any consequences. But they love consequences. Do you wanna know how I lost my eye and my hand? I missed my house payments, so I cut them off myself to teach myself a lesson! Wow. I'm gonna let you guys talk. So where's my money, Bato? Uh, listen, I don't have the money this month. Listen, you better have my $10,000 by tomorrow morning, or else I'm going to take your ball sack, cut it off, and turn it into a balloon to give to my daughter on her quinceanera. My house payment's not $10,000. It is now, Bato, so you better get it, or else I'm going to mucho gracias your ball sack. It's a really nice house. Do you have a good day? Oh, no! Oh, my God! What's wrong, Marvin? Goodman sold my mortgage to the Mexican cartel, and they said if I don't give them $10,000 by tomorrow, they're going to mucho gracias my ball sack. What does that even mean? A lot thank you, his ball sack. Exactly. Marvin, where are we going to get that kind of money? I mean, I could sell my car. Yeah, that could work. Hey, Marvin, I got some bad news for you. Sorry, it looks like you're already having a bad day, but I'm going to make it worse. Your lung x-rays came back, and you see that black spot? That's lung cancer. <laughs> You have lung cancer. Is it bad? Oh, no, it's actually the good kind of lung cancer. It is? No, no, there's no such thing. It's all lung cancer and it's all bad. Well, what are we going to do? Well, we could treat it by tomorrow and you'd probably survive it, but the treatments are hundreds of thousands of dollars and I know you can't afford that. Well, what can you do for me? Well, I can give you this box of tissues so you can cry me a river, and I can give you this hammer so you can build a bridge and get over it. Marvin, what are we going to do? Well, I'm the one with the cancer and the payment, so I feel like I should be crying. Oh, yeah, you're right. Honestly, Daddy, what I would do is, since they can't legally deny you medical care, is that your medical bills go to collections and then you focus on making your mortgage payment. That's really smart, Jeffy. So, yeah, let, let's focus on making $10,000 by tomorrow. Anyone have any ideas to make money? Well, the police officer man said that the blue rock candy's worth thousands of dollars. But, Jeffy, that's illegal. Yeah, Jeffy, that's illegal, and you wouldn't happen to have any more of that candy sitting around, would you? No, that was my last little bit. Damn it. Marvin, you weren't thinking about about selling that, were you? I mean, it's worth thousands of dollars. Yeah, mommy, we gotta move away. Well, good thing Jeffy doesn't have any more. I mean, we could make some. Yeah, daddy, let's cook. No, no cooking illegal rock candy under this roof. But it's thousands of dollars. No buts, Marvin. <sighs> okay, Jeffy, let's go downstairs and cook breakfast. All right, daddy. Okay, Jeffy, pour a little bit of the serum on the pan. All right, daddy. Yeah, that's looking real good, that's looking real good. Hey, Danny, why are your eyes red? Oh, I'm allergic to latex. Oh, ha <laughs> why does it do that? It's allergic reaction, Jeffy. Look, let's check on the first batch. All right. Oh, that's looking good. Can we MF and cook or what? Yeah, Jeffy, it is looking really good. Oh my god, we're amazing at this. What the hell are y'all doing in my kitchen? Whipping up dope up like a pot of spaghetti. <gasps> y'all making blue rock candy? That's just illegal. Oh, we really need the money. Oh, I'm about to call the police on y'all. Oh, we have a snitch, Jeffy. Let's go get him. <gasps> Not the one. This candy dealer's in my kitchen. The captain. <laughs> 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 All right, Daddy, he's knocked out and tied up. What do you want me to do with him? What we usually do to snitches. I got you, Daddy. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to start putting the blue rock candy in the Ziploc bag. Marvin! Oh, oh no, Rose is coming. i got to hide this. Marvin, what are you cooking for breakfast? <gasps> Marvin, why are you dressed like that? Uh, me and Jeffy are making blue waffles. We Googled a picture of it to get the recipe. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Hey, Daddy, I got the fucker's head. <laughs> Oh, great, Jeffy. Now we have to go catch her. I'll get the knife. Hello, 911. There's people in my house cooking blue rock candy. Hang up the phone, bitch. <laughs> you shut up in there. All right, Jeffy. Let's get back to cooking. 
Okay, Jeffy, I already put blue rock candy in this bag, so I want you to take it to school and sell it and try to get as much money as you can. I'm on it, Danny. I'm gonna go get dressed for school. I'm gonna keep staying here and cooking. All right, Krause, today we're gonna be going over the side effects and the negatives of blue rock candy. So to help me do that, I have a police officer here. Hey, kids, now I know, I know, I'm a big scary police officer, but I brought my good friend Sebastian the no-candy-eating lion here to make you guys feel better. Sebastian. <laughs> hey kids, it's me, Sebastian, the no candy lion. <laughs> Just say no to candy. God damn it, Sebastian, did you take a bump to the car? Just a little bump. Just a little. Oh my God. Uh, sorry, sorry, kids. Sebastian has to go back to the zoo. What? No, I don't want to go back there. Come on, we're going. Back. Guys, I can't believe blue rock candy is illegal. I know, dude. I loved it. I would literally pay any amount of money just for one piece of it. I've literally never seen anybody eat blue rock candy. I don't see what the big deal is. You guys want to buy some blue rock candy? Oh, hell yeah. Here's a hundred dollars. Here's twenty dollars. Oh, what can I get for a dollar, dude? I want some. Well, since you guys are my boys, I'll give you guys half the bag for all your money put together. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, bet. Oh, my God. This blue rock candy is amazing. Yeah, it is. Oh, it's so delicious. Meh, it's okay. Hola amigos, you want to buy some blue rock candy? Sorry Felipe, we already bought some. Where did you get that from? Jeffy's selling it. Oh, let me try this shit. Woo! Shit's good. A little too good. My father needs to hear about this. Papi! Alright kids, Sebastian's in the car now. But as we were going to say, blue rock candy is illegal now because all that sugar causes early onset diabetes, schizophrenia, and teeth cancer. Which is cancer of the teeth. Hey, you, what the hell is that? <laughs> Kids? What, Penelope? Hi, Dad. Where did you get this blue rock candy from? Uh, it's Cody's. He bought most of it. Yeah, it's all Cody's. Where did you get it from? I ain't snitching. I'll die for my homies. Not talking, huh? Well, I guess you're coming with me down to the station. Fuck you, pigs. I'll use my one phone call to call your mom. Another batch done. All right, Daddy. I sold half the bag at school and made 124 bucks. Jeffy, you goober. <laughs> That bag alone is worth two grand. But they were my boys, so I had to hook them up. You don't have any boys in this industry, Jeffy. The only boys you got are dead presidents. Oh, like George Washington and Benjamin Franklin? Yeah, those are your boys. All right, well, I promise I'll do better. But what happened was I had to get them hooked. And once you get them hooked, then they come back and spend even more money. But, Jeffy, I need 10 grand by tomorrow. So get your ass back out on that street and go door to door and sell more of this blue candy. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wasting my time cooking. <laughs> Who's that? Hello? Hey, I see. Oh, hey, amigo. I will have you your money by tomorrow. I sure will. Word on the street is that you've been cooking blue rock candy. Blue rock candy? I don't know how to make that stuff. Then why aren't you dressed like that, huh? I'm deep cleaning my kitchen. Don't lie to me, Holmes. I know you've been cooking it. Listen, I'm just trying to pay your money by tomorrow. You're stealing my operation and my customers. Well, I'm not trying to. But my son did bring me some of your stuff, and it was good. It was good? Yeah, so go in there and show me how you make it. Well, I'd rather keep it a secret. I you. Oh, okay, come on. Okay, look, this is how I make it. I put the sugar in the dye, then I put it on the pan, and I put it in the oven. I'll be taking this. Consider it a prepayment. Well, okay, look, I'm just trying to get you your $10,000 so I can be done. Forget about the $10,000. You work for me now. Work for you? For how long? Forever. Until the day you die. Well, what if I refuse? Then I'll just cut your eye out and cut your arm off. Well, are you at least going to pay me? Your payment is that you'll get to live. Listen, you just keep making this blue rock candy, and I'll be back later for more money. Oh my god, what I get myself into? <laughs> Who's that? Hello? What? The cops! Hey there, Marvin. You deep cleaning? Uh, yeah, deep cleaning. What do you fine officers want? Fine? You hear that, Simmons? He called us fine. Why are your eyes red? Oh, I got Windex in my eyes. Oh, I hate when that happens. Well, listen, Marvin, the reason I'm here is that I think I lost my favorite pen around your couch when I was telling you you had cancer. And you do still have cancer. You should probably get that taken care of. Oh, well, I just cleaned around my couch. I didn't see a pen. Oh, can I come in and look? Because it might be, like, under your couch. Well, I lifted up the couch. It's not under it. Oh, well, can I use your bathroom? Because I really got a tinkle. Well, I just cleaned the Toilet that I don't want you peeing all over the toilet seat. Oh, that's fair, because I do like to piss all over the seat. Hmm. Well, can I come in and have a drink? Because I'm pretty thirsty. Oh, I just poured out all the drinks in the refrigerator because they were expired. Wow. Well, can I at least have some tap water? I had my water turned off because I'm dying of cancer. I don't need water anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that does make sense. Well, can I come in and look at your furniture? Because I'm furniture shopping and I want to show Simmons your couches. Okay, make it quick. Okay. See, Simmons, look at this couch. It's really nice. And I think it's a pullout, too. I never pull out of your mother. Ew, Simmons, ew! <laughs> Is that a woman screaming? No, no, no. I think that's just the TV. Something's wrong. Simmons, come on. No, 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 no. All right, Simmons, where did that woman scream come from? In here, in here! 
I think it came from in here. Hmm, let's see. Oh my god! Well, that's not what it looks like! Look, I don't know what kind of weird kinky shit you guys are into, but I don't want to see it. No, he tied me up and banged me in the head! I, I, I don't need to know where he banged you, okay? I'm just gonna close the door. No, 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 no! Look, I'm really sorry for interrupting. I'll get out of your hair. Wait, Simmons, you smell that? Yeah, blue ass. I left a little rosebud in my kangaroo pouch. No, not that, Simmons. I smell blue rock candy. To the kitchen! What, no! Oh my god, Simmons, we just walked in on a giant candy lab. Willy Wonka would be proud. You're going to jail for a million billion years. That's how illegal this is. No, I'm sorry. I just needed the money. Put your hands behind your back. Wait, wait is that a human head? That's murder. That's at least another hundred years. Yeah, put... What? Amigo, you saved me! Damn right I did not. Where's my money? Uh, money. Uh, well, I didn't sell any more since you left. Oh, well, that's not very mucho gracias, Bato. Now cut up these bodies and put them in acid. And you better have my money by the time I get back, or else... <sighs> oh, man, what am I gonna do? I is he gone? I think so. Oh, God, that really hurt. I just didn't want him to kill us, so I used Ninja Focus to slow down my breathing and heart rate. Well, well you know I didn't do anything wrong. Like, he's making me do all this. Yeah, we heard the whole thing. I mean, it's not like you're doing this on your own. Uh... No, I never. Right, yeah, that's good. Okay, so I got a plan to kill that guy because nobody hits me with a bottle. Come on. Okay, so Simmons is standing guard outside that door in case the cartel guy comes back. When I get my tuna fish! I'll get it in a minute. Hold on. Okay, so here's the plan. Whenever the cartel guy comes back to get his money, you're gonna tell him Tuna Fish Terry has his money, so he comes to see Tuna Fish Terry. Now, I hooked up a bunch of explosives inside that wheelchair, and they're connected to that bell. So whenever Tuna Fish Terry rings the bell, it'll blow up the wheelchair, killing both Tuna Fish Terry and the cartel guy. But when I get my tuna fish! You'll get it when the cartel guy is dead! Jesus! He doesn't know he's gonna die. Why don't you just arrest the cartel member? Because that's lame. This is way cooler. I saw it in a TV show and I want to try it. He's coming! Oh, he's coming. I'll hide behind the couch. Uh. Hey, SA, check out this book I got my kids. El Gato and Sombrerato. It's by this Dr. Sussman. He's crazy with the pictures. Check this shit out, man. This gato is crazy. He puts a cake on his head. My kids are going to love this shit, man. Oh, wow. But you have kids? Oh, see. Si. Yeah, my kids would die without me. They love me so much. Especially since I'm the only thing they got because their mother died. Their mother died? Oh, yeah. I had to cut her head off because she didn't pay me my money. Speaking of, where's my money? Huh? Uh, huh? Uh, he has it. Okay. Where's my money? Uh, oh, oh, I think I just heard the oven go off. I, I have to get the candy out of the oven. Okay. Listen, I don't want to kill an old man, okay? What are you doing? Oh, I see. I see. Is a servant going to come and bring me my money? Oh, that was so cool. He was like, Pow! and then he was like, Ugh, I'm dead. Oh, that was way cooler than arresting people. But he had kids. Yeah, so what? You have kids. He was going to kill you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and throw away all that blue rock candy. Just don't let me catch you with it ever again. You got it? Okay. Okay, so there's another thing. Uh, I've been looking at your lung x-ray, and you do not have lung cancer. That little black speck right there is actually a Skittle. If you look closely, you can actually see the S. See, I was eating Skittles when I took the x-ray, and I guess I just dropped one in there. So, yay, no cancer. Hey, Nelly! I sold wicked glass until I got your $10,000 so now you can pay the mortgage. Jeff, you made $10,000 selling rock candy? Absolutely, Daddy. I move weight. These are my streets. Well, we don't even really need the $10,000 anymore because the mortgage guy's dead. Oh, shibby. Yeah, so I guess we don't have any problems. Hey, Daddy, how about we take these 10 Gs and go blow it at the arcade? Okay, Jeff, let's go. Woo! Um, Marvin? Jeffy? Someone? Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait for this popcorn to be ready. Wait, wait, who's calling me? Hello? Hey, sexy. Wait, who's this? A supermodel. A, a supermodel? Calling old Pee Pee? <laughs> what you doing, baby? Nothing. What are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just cooking some popcorn, extra butter. <laughs> mm, sounds hot. So what are you wearing? Oh, me? Uh, uh, oh, about to be nothing. You keep talking like that. What are you wearing? Nothing. You wanna come over here and eat some popcorn with old Pee Pee, baby? I'm already there. What? Where are you? No, you're not. In the pantry. Oh, no, you're not. Let me see this. You're not in here, silly goose. Where are you, baby? Look behind you. Look behind me? <laughs> Chef Pee Pee, I'm hungry. Chef Pee Pee. <gasps> Crime doesn't sleep. All right, Susan, what do you got for me? A chef killed in his own kitchen. Hmm, I guess somebody didn't like his cooking. I guess you could say that. Any witnesses? No, sir, the suspect ran away. Huh, I guess you could say the killer dined and dashed. Good one, sir. What was the cause of death? Multiple stab wounds. And the murder weapon? We couldn't find one, sir. Huh, I guess the killer took it to go. Ooh! 
I win first place! Wait, th this was the end of a race, right? No, sir, that was caution tape. Oh, well, I guess I should have been more cautious. Oh, God, what is that smell? The chef's dead body, sir. Huh. Chef Boy RD, more like Chef Boy is he dead. That's not your best, sir. It was a bit cheesy. Leave the jokes to me, Susan. I'm the officer here. Oh my god, what is that? What the hell is this? Some kind of alien mothership? That's popcorn, sir. Huh, well, I want to poke it with something. Uh, sir? Sir, that's the murder weapon! Now, Susan, how would you murder somebody with popcorn? The knife, sir. Oh my god, this popcorn is bleeding! What have I done? How are we gonna tell the popcorn's family? We'll have to tell the colonel. This job really takes it out of you. Sir, that knife is the murder weapon! Huh, well, have it examined for fingerprints that aren't mine. Okay. What kind of monster would do something like this? Ah, Dad, who would kill Chef Beefy? Look, Junior, he didn't have that much time left. Pet chefs don't live that long. I told you that when we got him from the pet store, damn it. Hey, did you find out who the killer is? Not yet, but we're working on it. I understand you're the one who found the body? Yeah, I went to ask Chef Beefy to make me something to eat, and he was dead. That must have been very traumatic, I'm sorry. But we did find the murder weapon. You did? You seem a little nervous. No, I'm actually excited that you found the murder weapon. We get to find out who killed Chef Pee Pee. Hmm, let me ask you something. Have you ever wanted to kill Chef Pee Pee? Oh yeah, all the time. Especially when he burns my food or leaves the ice cream out the milk or, or leaves the Kool-Aid out and makes it hot. Oh, I would kill him right now if he was still alive. Huh, so how do I know you didn't kill him tonight? Well, because I've been sitting in the bed all day, damn it! Well, can you prove you've been sitting in bed all day? Look at this ass print. Does it look like I've gotten up? That is a pretty deep ass print. You don't get an ass print like that unless you've been sitting there for years. Yeah, exactly. I'm a lazy bum. Okay, so what about when you get up to use the bathroom? You could have killed him then. I pee in a bottle. Come on now. Ew. Oh, I'm not even going to ask what you do with a number two. I usually poop in a box, the pizza box, when I order it. Okay, well, I'm just going to go find the real killer now. <laughs> Morvin, I can't believe someone killed Chef Pee Pee. What if we're next? <gasps> Morvin, do you think the killer's still in the house? Oh, God, 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 God. <laughs> Jeffy? It's not Jeffy, it's a ghost. Jeffy, where'd you get that mask? I found it. Hey. Officer, did you find the killer? No, it's hard. But I came to ask if you guys were the killers. What? No, we're not the killers. Okay, then where were you during the murder? Watching a movie. And you didn't hear Sheppy B being murdered downstairs? The movie was really loud. Oh yeah, what movie was it? Mr. Magorium's Wonder Emporium? And you didn't invite me? That's the real crime here. But I can't really blame you for not hearing it. You guys were on a magical ride with Mr. Magorium. Well, listen, we didn't cause any murders. Well, what about that guy in the scary mask over there? That's Jeffy. Yeah, yeah. Well, he says no, not. It is Jeffy. He just has a mask on. Hmm, yeah. And he does have his name on his shirt, so I guess I'll believe you. Okay, I'll be outside in my squad car, because it's standard procedure to wait 24 hours outside a crime scene in case the killer returns, which they almost always sometimes do. So, you let me know if you hear another scream. Now that you did last time, face. All right, Simmons, be on the lookout for a killer. All right, what does it look like? I don't actually know, but just look for anybody suspicious. All right. Oh, uh, what about him? Huh, he doesn't look that suspicious, but he's not wearing a seatbelt, so let's pull him over anyway. All right. <laughs> All right, Simmons, I'm gonna go give him a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. You know, click it a ticket. All right, mate. Excuse me, sir. I couldn't help but notice you weren't wearing a seatbelt. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, sorry's not going to save your life if you get in an accident, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to write you a ticket. Oh, come on, man. Can't you just let it slide? No, and I am going to have to ask you to put that knife away while we're talking. I'm getting a little nervous. All right. Wait, is that an open container? Nah, man, it's, it's empty. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, have you had anything to drink tonight, sir? Uh, only a few. Yeah, step out of the car, sir. Oh, is that really necessary? Yep, come on. What am I going to tell my wife? Come on, focus, focus. We're going to do a field sobriety test, so I need you to say your ABCs. I'm going to lose my job, Come man. on, come on, just t say your ABCs for me. Oh, fine. A, B, C, D. Oh, e oh damn. F, G. Always got some moves. H, I, J, K, Ooh. L, M, N, O, P. <laughs> Q okay, all right. Well, okay, hold on. Maybe, maybe, maybe give me that. Give me that. Keep going, though. Double. Probably should have patted you down first. Y and Z. Uh huh, that's very good. Okay, so I need you to walk in a straight line for me, okay? Yeah, easy. Okay, good. So just go over there. Go over there. Yeah, just over there. And, right. and then walk toward me in a straight line. All right, well. 
T turn around, turn around, this way. Now no, walk toward me, straight line, straight line. Okay, yeah, you are pretty drunk. All right, I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna have to take you in. You're under arrest. Ah, uh, come on, man. No, no, come on, come with me. All right, Simmons, you're gonna have to sit back there with him. I didn't have any handcuffs, so just grab him if he tries anything. All right, mate. I gotta do some paperwork about this arrest. So do you guys like games? I like games. What about murder mystery? Oh, I'm terrible at those. I suck at Clue. I got a clue for you. What's black and white and red all over? Oh, I know this one. A newspaper. Me, after I murdered the chef. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it either. You gotta get some better jokes, man. These drunk <sighs> Can you just play some music? Oh, yeah, but the only thing I have is hardcore rock and roll. Oh, perfect. Turn it all the way up. Okay. Actually, you know what, guys? Screw this paperwork. Let's go to Denny's. What? Oh, my God, Simmons! You know what? I think that guy might have been the killer. All right, that's it. Your son's under arrest. <laughs> For what? Because my partner was just killed by somebody wearing that mask. Oh, come on. Anyone could have that mask. And Jeffy's been here the whole time. Oh, yeah? Then where are his ass imprints? His what? His ass imprints from his ass on the couch from sitting here so long. Oh, I don't get those because I sit on my knees. That seems really bad for your knees. God, I wish I had legs. Listen, Jeffy didn't kill anyone. He's been here the whole time, I promise. Hmm. Okay. If you say so, I guess I believe you. But now the trail's gone cold. Well, have you talked to the person who found Chef Hippie's body? Because usually who smelt it, dealt it. Yeah, but he who denied it supplied it. So what's that say about you? Well, did the person who smelt it also deny it? <gasps> he did. I'm going to go talk to him. <laughs> the yellow goes before the orange, idiot. I know my colors. I'm still learning! Alright, well I need to talk to you. Did you find the killer? Oh yeah, I did. You want to see a picture of him? Yeah, I want to see who killed my chef. Take a good hard look. You, you know who that is? Your phone's off. What? Shit, how did that- did I go to sleep? Hold on. This is gonna be- you're gonna be very surprised when you see who it is. <laughs> who is it? Is it backwards? It's- hold on. Hold on. That's not who it is. That's- it's not- okay. Hold on. Who is that? That's me! Exactly! You're under arrest for killing Chef Pee Pee and my partner! I didn't kill Chef Pee Pee and your partner! Oh yes you did! What, what, what proof do you have? You found Chef Pee Pee's body, and that's pretty much all I have. But that's pretty suspicious, right? I was gonna ask him to cook me dinner! Hmm. And what if he said no? What if you got so mad that he wouldn't cook you dinner that you picked up the kitchen knife and you stabbed him, and you kept stabbing him over and over until he was dead, huh? Well, I don't think that happened. Well, maybe. Maybe you blacked out because you were so mad. Because that happens sometimes. So, were you mad, huh? Were, were you angry, mad, mad? I, I don't think so. Come on, kid. Just confess so I can arrest you. I can close this case. And then we can go to Denny's before I take you to jail, huh? How's that sound? You know, you get a grand slam witch, huh? Moons over my hammy, huh? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god! Somebody forgot to put the toilet seat down. That is so rude. There are ladies in the house. <gasps> I guess not anymore! She's dead! Okay, how'd you do it? How did you kill her while we were in the other room? Well, because I'm not the killer! Hmm, that would make sense. Okay, so that means the killer has to be either Marvin or Jeffy! Get out of my way! Alright, one of both of you is under arrest. For what? Your wife is dead. What?! Well, you're shocked, so it can't be you. And you're literally wearing the mask. See, this is what I've been saying. It's gotta be you. No, he's been here the whole time! Oh, I see. You're in on it. You probably wanted your wife dead. I mean, hey, I've been there. I totally get it. But then Chef Pee Pee was probably banging your wife, so you had to kill him, too. And then my partner, my partner just got in the way, so you had to kill him. Yeah, it's gotta be you. Just admit it, so that we can go to Denny's and then I can take you to jail. Huh? Grand Slam Witch? Moon's over my hammies? Somebody go to fucking Denny's with me! Listen, it wasn't us. We didn't kill anyone. Well, help me think of who could have done it then. Hmm. You. Me. Hmm. Uh, could, could you stop that? We're trying to think over here. Oh, fuck! Yes, thank you! Run! I'm gonna leave this rolling pin at the top of the stairs. Look, Marvin, the rolling pin worked! I mean, that clearly wasn't him falling down the stairs. That was that stuffed elephant in his costume, but we got him! Look, he got stabbed by his own knife! <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, well, before you die, let's see who you really are. <sighs> Booby! Yes, 
It's me. But, but why? Well, why did you kill all those characters? Because I only wanted to be pooby characters. So I killed Chef Peepy and Rose and Simmons because I only wanted to be pooby. Why can't it just be pooby? No! So, guys, what do you want to do this weekend? I don't know, dude. We have the whole weekend to ourselves. We can do whatever we want. I can't. I gotta go somewhere. Where are you going, nerd? Well, my parents are sending me to straight camp because they want me to be straight. They're sending you to straight camp? Yeah, so I need you guys to watch Ken for the weekend. Why do we have to watch Ken? Well, I can't bring my boyfriend to straight camp. And I might try to get some strange. You can't do that, Cody. They're not gonna let you. Junior, it's a whole camp full of gay dudes who don't want to be straight. And they're gonna pile us all in the same cabin, all sleeping in the same room. Are you kidding me? It's gonna be like fishing with dynamite. It's not even gonna be fair. I could close my eyes, throw a dart, and hit a bullseye. I'm like Gary goddamn Anderson. Well, have fun, buddy. Okay, Cody, come on. Let's go get you straightened out. Mom, if you think that stupid camp is gonna get me to stop liking Wiener, you're wrong. Boys, we recently found out that Cody liking men is a sin, so we're trying to stop it. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm a Wiener holly. I don't doubt that. Okay, Junior, a few more things about Ken. Uh, he's gonna want two ham and cheese Hot Pockets in the morning. Only give him one. You're not a fatty, Ken. Oh yeah, and I need you to brush his teeth four times a day. How else do you think his teeth stay so white? Cause it's painted on? Shut up, Joseph! Oh, and I need you to brush his hair, too. I mean, how else do you think his hair stays so nice? Cause it's glued on? Shut up, Joseph! Oh, and I need you to iron his clothes, cause how else do you think his clothes stay so unwrinkled? Cause it's stitched on, dude! Shut up, Joseph! Uh, oh yeah, and I need you to make sure he works out, too, cause how else do you think he keeps his washboard abs? He's a dog, dude! No, 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 Oh yeah, and, and Junior, I need you to read him The Great Gatsby before bed every night. I know, it's a pain in the ass, but it helps him sleep. And don't even think about letting him read Beowulf, it's too sexy. Oh yeah, and no Ryan Reynolds movies either, because I once asked him if he had a hall pass to smash any celebrity he wanted, who would it be? And he said Ryan Reynolds, and I don't want him getting any ideas. Okay, Cody, come on. Hold on, Mom. See, this is what we're trying to stop. If you didn't like that, Mom, that was just an appetizer for the Golden Corral of man ass I'm gonna be munching on. Dude, are we really gonna watch this stupid doll? No, we're not gonna watch Ken. It's stupid. He's a stupid doll, and we don't even need to watch him. We're just gonna leave him right there the whole weekend. Oh, dude, I got an idea. How about we play catch with Ken? We can't play catch with Ken. He can't catch a ball. Dude, we play catch with Ken. Ken is the ball. Oh, you mean play catch with Ken. Duh. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, Joseph, you ready to catch Ken? Yeah, dude, make sure you throw it far. Okay. Uh, no, dude, that's too far. Oh man, the lawnmower died. I guess I need more gas. Oh my god, Joseph, is Ken destroyed? I don't know, dude, let me check. Oh, he's perfectly fine. Not a scratch on him. That was close. Yeah, that was way too close, Joseph. I don't think we should play with Ken anymore. Yeah, you're right, dude. How about we just go swimming? That's perfectly safe. Yeah, let's just go swimming. Water is safe. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, I love swimming, Joseph! Oh, dude, it's so fun! I'm surprised you can swim, Joseph! <laughs> Me too! <laughs> look, I'm Cody's mom. <laughs> I'm a whale! <laughs> dude! Oh, look, I'm a Titanic victim! Ah! My boat's sinking and I'm drowning! Save me, Jack! Ow! That's so funny. Wait, hey, Joseph, you think Ken is safe? Dude, we're in a pool and he's right there. Nothing bad can happen. Wait, wait, dude, is that a shark? Oh, what? Oh, ah! Hey, it's a cat! Dude, what are we gonna do? We have to get him! <laughs> Alright, Joseph, I got kid. Oh, dude, let's get out of here! <laughs> Joseph, where'd that shark come from? I don't know, dude. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, let's just do nothing but save things the whole weekend. Yeah, like eat. Yeah, like I'm hungry. <laughs> Hey, Chef Pee Pee, can you make us something to eat? Yeah, sure, Junior. Just hold on a second. I need to flambe this Pop Tart real quick. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Boom! Flip it up, flip it up, flip it up! Yeah, Joseph, maybe I should keep Ken away from this. Yeah, dude. Okay, Joseph, we have to put Ken somewhere safe because too many dangerous things are happening to him. I know, dude, but where? Uh, ooh, we could put him in my mailbox because it's illegal to go through people's mail so no one will mess with him. Oh, dude, that's smart. Yeah, that's smart. You know what? No one breaks the law these days. That's a genius idea. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay, Joseph, put him in the mailbox. All right, dude, I got you. Uh, come on! What's wrong? Dude, it won't budge. Well, pull it. Okay, dude. Uh, uh. Ken! No! No! Uh, is he okay? Ken, why the fuck are you in the road? Are you trying to get paid? Because I have the best lawyers, so you're not getting shit. Uh, is Ken okay? Uh, I think so. Can you grab him? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh. Okay, this is way too close. Let's just take Ken inside and put him on the bed. Yeah, you're right, dude. Let's go. Dude, I hate that Cody asked us to watch his stupid doll for him. I know it sucks, but yeah. I think you should let me hold Ken. What? Why? 
Why? Because I can't trust you with him. Well, dude, is it because I'm black? No, it's just because every time you hold him, something bad almost happens to him. Well, you don't want to almost got him ran over by a lawnmower. You almost got him ran over by a car. You told me to put it in the mailbox. I was just doing what you asked. Just let me hold him. No, no, I got it. Let, I let got me it. hold him. Dude! Time to put these in the wood chipper. Oh, get in there, you buggers. No, wait, I need that. What, you collect sticks? No, the doll. Oh, there is a doll in there, isn't he? Oh, you beat me. What? Yeah, he, he could have been fed to the chipper. I'm, I'm, let me get him. Oh, he's stuck in there. Tight little room, isn't it? All right, dude, toss Ken on the bed since you don't trust me, your best friend. Well, I don't want to toss him on that bed because that's where Chef Pee sleeps. So I'm going to toss him on the top bunk. Okay, then, whatever works, dude. All right. Dude, why did you throw him in the ceiling fan? I didn't mean to. I was trying to toss him on the top bunk. The ceiling fan got in the way. You obviously were trying to take off his head. No, listen, Joseph. Everything we do, Ken always gets destroyed. So I think we should just put him on the couch and not touch him all weekend. Yeah, you're right. That's a good plan, dude. All right. Ken is going to sit right there all weekend and we're not going to touch him. Yeah, I'm not touching him at all. He better not move. Yeah, so we can do all the fun things we want and we don't have to worry about him. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. Woo! Hold on. My phone's ringing. Oh, yeah. Hello? Hey, Junior. Hey, Cody, what's going on? I'm coming home. Already? Yeah, I got kicked out of straight camp for skiing. It was a snow resort? No, I just got caught skiing with two other boys. You know, one on each side. I don't get it. Well, think about what you do with your hands when you're skiing. Oh! Yeah, yeah, I'm a freak, yeah. And I also think I turned one of the counselors gay. We were having a hot dog eating contest and we ran out of hot dogs, but I didn't stop. <laughs> My nickname at this camp is the Glizzy Goblin. Well, that's really cool. So how's Ken doing? Oh, Ken's doing great. Not one time today did he almost get destroyed. Not one time. That's really good to hear, Junior. Can I talk to him? How would you talk to him? Well, just put the phone up to his ear. He's a doll. <sighs> Here. Hey, baby, how's it going? What? What? Oh, no. Give the phone back to Junior. What's going on? Junior, what's this I hear about Ken getting bit by a shark? Dude, how do you know that? Uh, where'd you hear that from? Ken just told me. Well, he didn't get bit by a shark. He's a doll. Uh, he didn't get bit by a shark. We were watching Jaws, so I don't know how you heard that. Well, Junior, you're not supposed to let him watch scary movies. Only I can do that, so that when he gets scared, he puts his head under the covers while I'm not wearing pants. Oh, well, you didn't say we couldn't watch Jaws. You said not to watch Ryan Reynolds movies. Well, I guess that's true. I did say that. But he's going to have nightmares now, and I'm going to have to be the big spoon. It's so lame. Well, look, when are you coming back? Well, I should be back any minute. I, I'm about to pull up. Okay, well, we'll see you in a minute. All right, well, tell my sweet little buttercup cake pants that I love him. All right, is that me? No, it's Ken. Oh, okay, oh, well, we'll see you in a minute. All right, Cody's gonna be here any minute. Yeah, thank God, I'm tired of watching that stupid doll. Yeah, me too. Joseph! What? What happened to Ken's legs? Oh, God, I didn't notice that. Dude, I was standing right by you. Okay, I was on the phone. What happened, Joseph? Dude, I don't know. Maybe a raccoon took his legs? Did you see a raccoon? No. So then why would you say Where did they go? I don't know, dude. When, when I put Ken on the phone, he had legs. There's no way he just doesn't have legs now. Bro, I'm clueless. I was right by you. Oh, no, that's Cody at the door. All right, try to find some legs. Wait, what? Where am I going to find legs from, dude? I just tried. Oh, my God. God. I'm a stall. Hello? Cody, what are you doing here? I'm here to pick up Ken. Remember the conversation we just had on the phone? Did we just talk on the phone? Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. So I'm just going to come in and get Ken. Well, hold on. Don't you want to leave Ken here for the weekend and have the weekend to yourself? No, uh, that straight camp made me real hungry for G.I. Joe crotch plate. Oh, well, Ken had a really amazing time here. He doesn't want to leave. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. I don't want him having too much fun without me. I'm going to have to spank that little tush. Well, didn't you say you were hungry? Why don't you go to McDonald's to get your free medium french fry? You haven't had that in forever. Well, that's true, but I get, I get kind of tired of french fries. Well, how about you go grab some? Uh, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think I'll take Ken with me after. No, how about you grab some french fries and surprise Ken with them? Well, I don't want Ken eating french fries. He's on a no-carb diet. He only gets one cheat meal a day, and that's his hot pocket in the morning. Oh. Well, you know what? My, my dad just yelled and said that no one's allowed in the house. Oh, well, can you go get Ken and bring him here? Yeah, let me go get him. Well, hold on. Man, the stairs are getting steam cleaned, and I don't want to step on the stairs. You know what, Junior? I don't think your dad really cares this shit, so I'm just going to come in and get him. No, 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 no! <laughs> Damn, Junior, you run upstairs fast. I'd like to take my time. Wait, I thought you said these stairs were getting steam cleaned. Joseph, Joseph, Joseph! Cody's on his way up! It's all good, Junior. I already found some legs. You're welcome. You chose black legs? It's the only G.I. Joe I could find! Cody's not gonna believe this. <gasps> well, how about you just tell him that he's half Kenyan? Oh, Junior, it took me forever to get up those stairs. I don't know how you do it so fast. I guess I'm just getting old. Whoa, nice leg tan, Ken. Junior, you didn't tell me Ken sunbathed by the pool. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ken wanted to surprise you by getting a tan, only on his lower half. Oh, it's the only half that matters. Ooh, I can't wait to lick him. Yeah, so just take Ken and go home. Uh, I just want to ask him about his day first. Uh, so how was it, Ken? Uh-huh. Yeah. 
dude, he's so weird. Not really? Oh. What? Guys. What? Well, Ken says you guys lost his legs and replaced his legs with G.I. Joe legs. No, 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 liar. Junior, Ken never lies to me. Okay, fine, we lost his legs, but we don't know what happened. He was literally just sitting here when I was on the phone with you, and his legs just disappeared. Uh, dude, I actually know what happened. I got hungry, and I wanted to eat some chicken legs. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, guys! Happy Easter, dude! Yeah, we should be at home with our families, but we're here. Yeah, Happy Easter! So guys, what do you want to do for Easter? Well, we're too old to go hunt for Easter eggs. Yeah, hunting for Easter eggs is for babies, dude. Yeah, babies. Yeah, babies. Who would want to do that? So what do you guys actually want to do? Ooh, we should watch the Dr. Finkelshit's Easter special. <gasps> yeah, let's watch that! Yeah! <laughs> Struggling! Happy Easter! I am Dr. Friedrich Finkelschitz, and today I have captured the Easter Bunny, and I will force him to tell me the location of the ancient Mayan egg! I already told you I don't know nothing! I said shut up! Now I know what you are thinking, Dr. Finkelschitz, what is the ancient Mayan egg? What do you see? In 2600 BC, the ancient Mayans met up with some aliens, and the Mayans stole the aliens' very valuable egg with billions of dollars. And the aliens said, give us our egg back, and the Mayans said, no way! And then they fought, and the Mayans buried the egg deep underground somewhere, if this stupid rabbit would just tell me where it is! I ain't telling you shit! What? Oh, oh, you will spit on my face. You will make my face wet. I will make your face wet. This is called waterboarding. Oh, 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 Tell me where that egg is, stupid oh, rabbit. Oh, 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 <laughs> Am I talking now? All right, all right, fine. It's in the dirt. It's, it's in the dirt somewhere in Florida. <coughs> the dirt in Florida. Very good. I will now search this Florida dirt for the egg. Ah. Guys, did you hear that? The ancient Mayans hid an egg in the dirt in Florida. We're in Florida. We should go look for it. But Cody, did we not just agree that looking for eggs is for babies? Yeah, it's definitely for babies, dude. But an egg that's worth billions of dollars could be worth it. But Cody, they said the egg is hidden in the dirt in Florida. You know how much dirt's in Florida? We'll never find it. It could take years. Well, guys, I actually happen to know where an ancient Mayan dirt farm is here in Florida. How do you know where an ancient Mayan dirt farm is? Well, one day I was out pillaging for maple syrup, you know, killing people, burning villages in my pursuit of that sweet, sweet, sticky goodness, and I stumbled across an ancient Mayan dirt farm. And I pinned the location on my phone so I'd be able to find it later. So guess what, guys? Today's the day! Well, are you sure the egg's even gonna be there? Well, the egg is buried in the dirt in Florida, and I found an ancient Floridian Mayan dirt farm here in Florida, so it has to be! Well, I guess it's... I guess we should go look. I mean, we have nothing better to do today. Yeah, we're bored. Come on, guys, follow me! Ugh, how much longer, Cody? Yeah, dude, my feet hurt! Well, Google Maps says we're almost at the great dirt farm of the Mayans, and that's where the eggs should be buried. I don't see any dirt anywhere, Cody. <gasps> look, guys! Dirt! Come on, guys, let's go! Guys, guys, right here, this green X, this is where the egg is. Cody, isn't there usually a red X where treasure is? Well, yeah, but that's too obvious, Junior. The Mayans knew people would dig under a red X. Whenever you see a green X, you just ignore it. This is definitely where the egg is. Okay, so how are we gonna start digging this? User hands, dude. Well, hold on. I got an idea. I'll be right back. Maybe he has a shovel. Hey, babe! Whoa, dude, that's sick! Junior, where the hell did Jeffy get an excavator? I have no idea. How is this for a shovel, Junior? Jeffy, where'd you get this thing? I found it. I don't believe him. I think he stole it. But we're gonna get this egg. Jeffy, dig where the green X is. I'm on it. Are you sure it's down there, Cody? I'm positive. Well, guys, I guess we just sit back and wait till Jeffy finds the egg. Yeah, dude. Hey, kids. I uh, I think I lost my excavator. It's like this big yellow digging machine. Have you guys seen it? Uh, like... No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, well, it's just I was doing construction and I took a pee break and then I came back and it was gone. And I think somebody might have stolen it. But I mean, it's pretty hard to miss. It's big and it's yellow and it makes a lot of noise. No, we, we, we haven't seen it, have we guys? Nope, not at all, dude. Hmm, okay. Well, I mean, I've looked everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for behind me, but honestly, I'm just too tired to turn around, so. You guys let me know if you see it. Okay. Oh, that was way too close, guys. Ooh. We almost got caught. Right? Junior, look, an egg! Wait, that's it? I thought it was gonna be big and golden. Well, I don't know, but that has to be it. Why else would somebody bury an egg that deep? I'm gonna go get it. Behold, we got it! The long-lost Mayan treasure egg! Cody, it's purple and it's plastic. Well, it might still be worth a lot of money. We don't know what's inside it. Come on, let's take it home. <sighs> 
All right, you guys ready to open up this egg and see what makes it so valuable? Please. Dude, whatever's in there better be good. All right, here I go. Rules! Hand over that egg! Aliens! We've been looking for that egg for thousands of years, and now you're gonna hand it over! No! I'll have a gun! I don't care. I will literally suit you right now! Do it! I'll kill you! And your friends! <sighs> Bet you won't. Dude, he's gonna shoot us! Give him the stupid egg! Nah. Cody, give him the egg! No! Give it to him right now, dude! Make me! Okay, damn, here! Ugh. He was gonna kill us, Cody! <sighs> Guys, he stole our egg! We should call the cops! The cops aren't gonna believe us that an alien stole our egg! Junior, just call the cops! Why don't you call them? Because I gotta go to McDonald's to get my free medium french fry to help me get over this. <sighs> I'll call the cops! Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, something was stolen from us today. Oh, me too. I was at my construction job and somebody stole my excavator. It just disappeared right into thin air. I mean, how does a 24-ton machine just go missing like that? Wait, you guys were there too. Hmm. Anyway, what was stolen from you guys? An Easter egg. Okay, look, 911 is for emergencies only, okay? I don't care if you guys were Easter egg hunting and he stole your egg or whatever. Just learn how to share. No, this is serious. This egg is worth billions of dollars. Yeah, okay, and my boogers are worth hundreds of dollars. And my piss doesn't have blood in it. And my wife isn't a bitch because we're over here in make-believe land. But no, this is real life and my piss does have blood in it and I'm very worried. No, let, let me tell you the story. So we were looking for an egg. Did you say looking for an egg? Well, that reminds me of when I was looking for eggs in an Easter egg hunting competition. And I lost because of Byron Easter egg britches. Who's Byron Easter egg britches? You've never heard of Byron Easter egg britches, the 10-time Easter egg hunting champion? No, we're kids. Well, I'll tell you guys the story. So I was in fifth grade, and the town was having a big Easter egg hunting competition. So I showed up with my basket and my glasses on so I could see all the eggs, and I was pretty sure I was going to win. So they fired a gun in the air to start the competition, and I started looking for eggs. And I was grabbing any egg I saw. I found eggs in bushes and nooks and crannies. I had so many eggs, my basket was overflowing with eggs, and I knew I was going to win. And then, here comes Byron Easter egg britches. See, the rule was, you were supposed to put the eggs in your basket, but Byron, he was stuffing the Easter eggs into his britches, and his britches were so big, he had a ton of eggs in there. He must have had thousands of eggs in his britches. So I chuckled to myself, and I said, that fool, he's going to be disqualified for putting eggs in his britches instead of the basket. So then we go to count up all our eggs, and I got 37 eggs. And I'm feeling pretty good about that, because that's a lot of eggs. And then they count up how many eggs Byron has, and Byron got 2,624 eggs in his britches. And then they declare him the winner. And I say, no, 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 that's bullshit, because the rule was we were supposed to put the eggs in our basket, not our britches. And then the mayor said, kid, calm down. It's just an Easter egg hunting competition. It's not that big of a deal. And then I said, no, fuck that, and fuck you, because those were the rules, and where are we without rules? So then my mom washed my mouth out with soap for cursing at the mayor, and Byron won the competition, and they, they congratulated him for being so smart for putting the eggs in his britches, and the mayor gave him a medal for collecting the most eggs ever. So for the next 10 years, Byron would win every Easter egg hunting competition by putting eggs in his britches. And I even tried to put eggs in my britches, but my britches were never big enough to collect enough eggs, and people said I was a copycat for putting eggs in my britches. So now, every year on Easter, Byron calls me up to brag about how many eggs he has in his britches. Who is this? Oh great, it's Byron. Here, I'll put it on speakerphone so you guys can hear him. What do you want, Byron? Guten Tag, Brooklyn. Guess how many Easter eggs I'm going to have in my britches this year? 4,000! Ha 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 ha! How? What? You know what? I don't care. Screw you and your britches! God, I hate that guy. Oh, he's German, by the way. I forgot to mention that. That's important. But you know what's funny? This year, I'm going to get my payback. Because this year, the town hired me to hide the Easter eggs for the competition. And I'm going to hide every single egg six feet in the dirt with a little green X on top so that whenever Byron finds them, he's going to have to dig down six feet with his bare hands just to find a single purple egg. And inside, there's going to be a note that says, fuck you. Wait, so you're, you're burying eggs with your excavator in the dirt? Well, yeah, I was, but I only got one done before somebody stole my excavator. Anyway, I hope you kids find your eggs. I, I can't really help. Not in these britches. Hey, guys, I got my french fries. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, what the hell? Oh, sorry, I had a little tickle in my throat. I got my french fries. What did the cop say? Is he gonna get my egg back? Listen, Cody, that egg's not as valuable as you thought it was. Oh, I see what's going on here. You guys just want to keep the egg for yourselves and split the money. Well, I'm not having it. Put up your dukes, come on. I don't want to fight you, Cody. Why, because you don't want to lose in front of your friend over there? Don't be a puss. No, Cody, calm down. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I'm gonna throw up. Listen, Cody, the cop, he's the one who buried that egg in the dirt. Junior, there's no way that cop buried that egg in the dirt and then put a green X on it. Only the Mayans could have done that. It's a long story. Ha ha ha! There 
was funny. What do you want, green boy? You gave me the wrong egg. What are you talking about, green boy? The egg you gave me had a very naughty word written in it. Let me see, green boy. Let me just open this up here. Oh, well, there does look like there's a note in there. What's it say? It says, fuck you. What, Junior, why would the Mayans do that? That's so mean. Because it wasn't the Mayans, Cody. It was the cop. He was trying to hide the egg from buyer and Easter egg britches. Okay, now I know you're lying. Now give me the real egg or all of you die. You don't have the ball sack. <laughs> oh my god, the ball sack. He has it. Oh, uh, what do we do, Cody? What do we do? I don't know. I, I have french fries. Uh, uh, hey, guys, look what I found. After you guys left, I kept digging. I found this golden egg. Jeffy, you found the real Mayan egg. Give me that egg or die. Go ahead and take it. I don't give a fuck. What, what Je Jeffy? You just gave away the real egg! He was gonna kill me! Listen, Cody, at least we're all alive. Well, Joseph's dead. Yeah. Ha ha ha, that was fun! What is it now? Open up. What? Okay, what's in this one? What's it say? What? It says suck it. Look, I don't know what to tell you, man. We didn't do this. This has to be the real Mayan egg. The Mayans wrote suck it? Well, yeah, I guess. Well, that's not very nice. No, it's not. Hmm. All right, you stupid Easter Bunny, I couldn't find it. Wait, Easter Bunny, where did you go? Easter Bunny, no!